Welcome back to another episode of the Cast Patrol Podcast. You're joined as always by myself, Mick, Jimmy, and Age. Boys, NRL Vegas, it's right around the corner. And we've got a jam-packed NRL Vegas episode for you boys. I'm bloody pumped for the footy. Are you boys? If not, get off the pod. Mate, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Good. You're safe. Vegas. You can stay on the pod. Who would have thought? Mate, footy's back. Round one or round zero, whatever you want to call it. Vegas this, this Sunday. It is. And we're going to get through it all very, very soon. Before we get on with the show, just remember, if you're not subscribed on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, what are you be doing? sure to hit that follow and subscribe. Yes. But yeah, Age, what are you doing? If you're not on YouTube as well, subscribe there. It helps grow the show um, and you get notifications every time we post. So why not? Yes. So, boys, let's get into NRL headlines this week, apart from Vegas. Panthers lose World Cup Challenge to St. Helens, 16 to 12. Did Day, you Wigan. Daylight. To Wigan. Robbery. To Wigan. Oh, sorry, I wrote St. Helens. <laughs> Mick's stuck in 2023. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I was stuck in 2023. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you're correct. They lost in Penrith last year yeah. to St. Helens, and then this year in England, they lost to Wigan. They've, so never, they they've never won a World Club Challenge in England. They've got so no idea. They can't do it. South can do it. He can? Yes. And there's a lot of controversy in the game, obviously. Mate. The match-winning try, Wardle crossing over, not really. Bro, how did they he, award that? His arm was like... 20 centimetres short. First, he, yeah, first he was Stop. short. And then the fact that they held him up over the line And then he was well. a double movement into the line. Mm-hmm. So it's a penalty. <laughs> so I, I can understand the ref calling a try. Look, he doesn't have the best angle. He falls for the celebration. But the bunker mm-hmm. looking at that on multiple takes and then deciding not to overturn it. There's definitely can, conclusive evidence. Like Jimmy said, it's definitely a double movement at a minimum. Yeah, at the very like, least. Yeah. You can see he gets short mm-hmm. and then he... But that was like the final straw. There mm-hmm. was plenty of stuff throughout the game. There was uh, a... One on one strip that that got penalised. That, that was, was horrible, passes. Liam Munn. By that, Liam yeah. Munn did the strip. Obviously, people saw what happened. There was three in the tackle, two peeled off. Liam Munn stripped it. The ref dead set guessed if he if, if there was other people. If on the other people on, but he it just was listened clear, to the crowd reaction. Clear two second gap. Mm. But yeah, Panthers got robbed. Like there's nothing else to it. Bevan French was good. Jai Phil Very played good. good. Jai Phil was amazing. Two yeah. try saving tackles. He wouldn't look out of place in an NRL side. Neither would Bevan, Bevan French. French. Like yeah, that French. ball to Miski to kick yeah. off the that was a mad cut kick out. off the try. But yeah, hell. potentially they can both come in the NRL next year. And Jai Field, the way he stalked Taylor May as he was defending when he made that break, yeah, he let him go to the sideline. And then he just put the burners on, just took him out. Yeah, like he's got some serious speed. And yeah. some sadder news: Tom Gilbert's torn his ACL. It's tough. Right. He's come back after a shoulder reconstruction. Now yeah. he's. Torn his ACL out for the season. You can call him A's Gilbert, you know. I've got a bunk shoulder and I tore my ACL, so I feel for Gilbert. Yeah. So I'll be in it. I'm, Sad I'll be in it together him. with you, Tommy. Who Sad do you news think for Dolphins be, fans. Who do you think will be playing uh, that lock role for them now? I reckon they'll move Kbrom to lock yep. and they'll play Connolly, Lamelu. Mm. Or they can even back put, row. Could or Connolly you, go back row or Gafulsi? Yeah. yeah. Is you and Aiken in Aiken around there? second row. They mm. could leave him there. Yeah. They've got a few options. They've got options, yeah. Um, That's for sure. Like Jay Wall is there, Ray Stone. But he's still a big loss, like Origin representative. Just the the I was looking, I was looking forward to seeing him this year and then. Yeah. Big raps. Yeah. Um, and that all happened in the trials. So let's do yeah. what we did last week. Trials week revision, review. <laughs> um, which teams impressed you? We'll start with age. Well, the team that impressed me was the Baby Broncos. Okay. They won the preseason challenge, but they weren't favourites too. They shouldn't have won that game. They were down... 10 nil, I think. I played good. And then they just turned it on. Like, Kurt Falls had a good game. The winger, Hopawati, was good. Yeah. Um, ben Takura was good, who we touched on in the preseason. Yeah, so the baby Broncos winning the preseason challenge. They win 100 grand as well. Do you reckon they put on red or black for Vegas? It's always red, isn't it? It's yeah. always red. It's a bit, yeah, uh, yeah a bit scary. Who winning 100 you, grand Jim? just before oh, Vegas. That timing has oh. gone straight down the drain. Very yeah. bad timing. <laughs> um, uh, what about you, boys? Roosters for me. Big surprise. Your second favorite team. Yeah, fielded a... Fairly young side, but um, there was a, there was a lot to like about how they went on with their business. Obviously, BMO's coach, Cooper Cronk, assistant coach, oh. if you don't mind. Um, but no, they looked good, especially you know a couple of their young forwards, oh, Fekatoa. Their lock. Yeah, their Mate. lock. So let's see, yeah, yeah. Fekatoa or yeah. Fekati? Fekatoa. Fekatoa. Yeah, he yeah. was so good. Gun. Uh, Corey Ross. 
Yes, yeah, the, the guy with the headgear. Yep, very good. Yes. And then, he only um, ran for like 35 metres, but in defence he was putting shots on. putting shots on everyone. Yeah. And then um, Gromick, the fullback, was mm. a gun as well. So Two tries, two try assists, not too shabby. Not too shabby, yeah. Uh, demolition job on Belmore, uh, Belmore <laughs> for South. Right for South, South yep. Yeah, we don't want to talk about no. it. <laughs> My team that impressed me was uh, Parramatta Eels. I think I said it last week it was Raiders who played Parramatta, but... This week they actually played their full strength team and you yeah. could tell that they've been playing together for years because that mm. team hasn't really changed too much. They've maybe nah, added some yeah. people like Bailey Simonson's coming to the team. It's their hooker, like hands, yeah, Lussie. hands, Lussie. Lussie. Yeah. Uh Tua Luggy off the bench, like little little bits and pieces, but didn't yeah. miss a beat. Moses and Brown, them two in sync is just yeah. a sight to be yeah. watched. Gutho, yeah. mm. like just didn't just... Yeah. Like that spine's been set like that for had years. had a cracking game. Tennessee. Hardy and Lane play good, like... Yeah, yeah, they've got yeah. they've got a good team. I originally up. didn't have Parry in my top eight, but I know trials on everything. But the more I look into their squad, I'm like, good mm. forward pack, good back line either side. Can beat the good teams yeah. on their day. They can so. do a bit of damage. Yeah, they'll be sniffing that top eight for sure. And players that impress you this week. So I'm going to start things off. Yep. I'm going to do Dragons left edge. So Rava and Sully. I think, I think those, they did like 20 tackle breaks. Oh, they were close to unbelievable, it. yeah. They were incredible. Those two playing out of their skin on an edge, them two is a bit of a cheat code. Yeah. But let's see if they can do it throughout the whole season because they have yeah. always their moments of glimpses. You see Rava sometimes get four tries, Sully yeah. pop up with yeah, a double. Yeah. It's just if they can do it throughout the whole season in that Dragons yeah. team. Even Jaden mm. Sue was another one to throw in there mm. for the Dragons. He had a game. Yeah, they looked good to Dragons. What about you, Jim? Thomas McKayley. Oh, hey. the Cowboys. Cowboys gun. It's been around, but... um. Yes. When did he go to the Cowboys? I this swear this year. Was... We signed him up this year. He wasn't in the top 30 when I checked. No, him. but he is now. Oh, he got, got added? Got promoted, yeah, Elevated to the top today. 30. Oh, he deserved it. And a few injuries that we had, he obviously lost Hess. Um, so I think he should be in the 17 moving forward. But bench, pro- No, he was good. Tackle bus, offloads, couple tries. Was strong up the middle. 27 minutes, I think, and he did 140 uh, metres. Yeah, 140 metres. Mate, Mate, earned himself a spot. Like 100%. literally from the trial. 100%. So fair so play to... Looking forward to him this year. McKaylee. I'm going RTS. I couldn't leave this guy yeah. out. I was watching that game and like he did not look like he missed any years in NRL. Mm. Seamless transition. He still got it. 196 run meters, eight tackle breaks, two line break assists, a try assist, three offloads, no errors. Yeah, it looked so, good. So yeah, it looks like they're going to keep him center as well while Chance is out. He, he played a bit of fullback though, didn't he? I think he did move to fullback. So yeah. But yeah. he probably will start at center with a potential Mate, just shift. Just get him that early ball the and then if he's one-on-one. And I loved how he linked yeah. up with SJ as well. They made a nice little line break together. Yeah. So if you're a Waz fan, very good. Plenty to look very forward to. Yeah. to look and forward his defense to. is even better. Yes. Yeah. Um, but boys, the moment's arrived. It's time to talk NRL Vegas. This yeah. segment is, of course, sponsored by TBC Live. Predict, banter and win. New app in store. Coming yeah. soon. If you're not on the app, what are you doing? Seriously. Why should I get on the app, Jim? Tell Mate, me why. Weekly prizes. That's why. That Banter. How much is it to get on? Mate, do I have to sign free. up? Free. Free to sign up. Open to all ages as well. Yeah. What do I do when I'm on the app? Anything? Is it fun? Like, Mate, do I do anything? Download the app and look for yourself. Really? Plenty of fun on there. Predictions, yep. like Mick said, bantering. They got a new chat TBC. So yeah, you've heard of chat, chat GPT. Bot. I've heard of chat GPT. Yeah. It's chat TBC. So yeah. essentially it's an automated bot that can help you with predictions based on history yeah. and algorithms and forecasting. Yeah. It can tell you super coach score predictions. It can tell you. Does it have stats? It has stats. So my stats of the week video, yeah. I can use this TBC. 100%. Yeah. Fuck. So it'll tell you if you ask the, who's going to win between South and Manly, it'll tell you results from their last five encounters, let's say last three encounters. Yeah. Yeah. It can show you a lot of things and it's all there to be used. So sign up using the link in our episode yeah. description. Um, and we'll be playing for this Sunday. We'll be on the app playing a few yeah. games. I'll be trying to win the prizes, if it's yeah. whether it's a jersey, tickets, Money. Like a voucher for merch. Mm. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll be in the chat. I'm probably going to win it because you're going to win you know, it I on can behalf pre- of us. I can, no, I've got my own account. Okay, right. I'm going to make my own account and I'll predict. <laughs> okay. And it's not just us that's going to be up. There's a few other content creators. Yeah. We won't yes. reveal them now, but you know them. Some heavyweights. You could call them heavyweights. We love them. Huge. And yes. they're well known in the rugby league community and they'll be great fun on the TBC yeah. live app. So let's get into it, boys. Rabbitohs versus Seagulls. The start of the season. Mm. Um, team list came out. Who shocked you? Who didn't? Ooh. Shock one for me. Or Burbo, maybe. Burbo back row. Yeah, Burbo back row. Yeah, Schuster out still with that car. Yeah, injured. Schuster still Vegas. injured. Yeah, that's right. But I um, think even if he was there, he probably would have got it, Burbo. You reckon? Yeah, so he, if you're playing super coach, he's a center wing and second dual. row dual. 
<laughs> Pretty much bottom dollar. Get him in. <laughs> yeah. I like to see Jacob Gagai getting a debut, obviously Gagai putting in the good. hard yards yes. with the New South well Wales deserved. Cup team. Yep. He's a bit would you older. you say Dane Gagai from Wish or would you say like it's the opposite? Is Ooh. he better than Dane? I, I, think, I think he's, he's his, own, player. his own player. Like he's, Jacob Gagai. He's Jacob Gagai. Yeah. yeah. Debut, let's see it. I let's, want to see it. Yeah. He's, a, he's a very different kind Can of player. Can I Kenna Senna is an interesting one. I yeah, think got the nod. Milne, I don't know if they wanted to not put him there or something. But uh, well, Kenna played center in the trial. Milne's yeah. wing, so it's like I mm. guess they were just already convinced on Kenna. Yeah, mm. but obviously a few fair few injuries for South still. But yeah, they're still forward got pattern, strong. Munro, yeah, forward Kepi pattern, starting prop, strong. Yeah, Arrow second row now. Mm -hmm. Bench with Host got Havili there. Duncan couldn't even make it. Yeah, got Burgess Mowali on the bench. It's a Love strong it. bench. I think this is our fittest team bar yeah. Campbell. And it's, it's exciting because we haven't had a fit team like this in yeah. a long time. And the main thing is Trell's fit and ready to go. Yeah. Mm. What stats have you got for us, Sage, this week? Because we know you love your oh, stats. I could have a whole episode on stats this you week could. just for this South yep. Manly game. So yeah. what do you got for There's us? There's a plethora of stats. <laughs> but the main one is South have won the last seven against Manly. Yep. So initially it's just a tick. you got to tip South. They've won seven in a row. Mm. It's going to be eight. Good team on paper. We also have in the last four matchups between South and Manly, the 5 8 scored the first try. Ooh. Lukey Brooks. Yes, but three of them have been Cody Walker. Oh, okay. All right. So you can go Brooks. You I am looking Brooks. forward to see Brooks play, though, for Manly. I think that'll be good. Yeah, you've been, been, you've been raving about Brooks. You even hey. drafted him in Supercoach. I did. So <laughs> big, things, big things for Brooks from Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, which, which way are you boys leaning for this fixture? Do you see it going in the South way, the Manly way? Well, you know how much I love South. Mm. It was a flip of the coin. Well, not me. at all. <laughs> it was a flip of the coin. But, yeah, the, way I look, the, the more I looked at it, I think, obviously, South, a lot of injury suspensions. It's not their full strength side, but... I think they've just got a better forward pack, better go forward. So I think because of that, I think they'll just beat Manly in you a close one. Yeah, I do. Wow. Far out. we got to clip this. This is the first time Jimmy's going to tip South hey. all year. Oh, Unless what, you verse Tigers or Drag. Yeah, <laughs> it depends on who they verse. Yeah. But no, nah, yeah, South, I think. What about in you, a close Mick? one. Um, look, I said South were going to be my premier, so it'd be rude of me not to pick him for round one. Yeah. I like how much I saw of them in the charity show when they could just pile the points on. Mm. I think that's one of our strengths, but it has been for years more so – our defence is going to be what sets us apart in this match, especially on a new turf. It's a smaller pitch. It is. We won't be able to do that left play to Alex Johnson as much because there's not that many overlaps coming through. So defence is going to be important, especially the through the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, and remember the charity shield was without Cody Walker, Latrell Mitchell and Damian Cook. Mm. You put those three back into your spine, that's an elite spine right it there. Is. So I'm with Jimmy. I think it will be a tight contest, I think. Both teams will be trying to find their groove into getting into the season yeah. and then they'll get into the nitty-gritty, but I just see South coming on top and, and winning well in, in Vegas. Yeah, I was a bit worried about like playing in Vegas outside of New South Wales, but I've done my research. South have won nine their last 11 NRL games played outside their home state of New South Wales. Mm. Okay, And they also won the only meeting against Manly in a neutral ground prelim final 2021 at Suncorp. Mm -hmm. So the stadium tick and I went back and like, how do we perform round one? Yeah. And I found out South have won. Oh, wait, sorry, this one. South have begun. We're winning seven out of 11 round ones. It's not bad. So they won last year against Sharks. Positive. Seven out of 11. We usually perform well round one. Mm. Not as good as Storm. Obviously, we know the Storm stat. 22 yeah. years, they haven't lost round mm -hmm. one. Ridiculous. But yeah, the, all the stats go to South. I'm a South fan. We've got a good team besides Wyden and Campbell. We're going south. It'll be a close game, though. Yes, it will be close. Yeah. One, to, one to 12, preferably. So mm. just recap Rabbits. Rabbits. Yep. Rabbits. Rabbits. A line. And shout, Three out to, rabbits. shout out to Tom Burgess uh, coming off the bench this week. Ran for an average of 148 metres per game when starting on the interchange in 2023. That stat's still... He's better off the bench. Just doesn't make sense. Well, it's here, actually the most from any bench player all season yeah, long. That's crazy. So, yeah, it's that's quite an impressive. 148 start. average off the bench. Crazy. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. What so do you want? We got the other game uh, on Sunday. Big game, which I think Double will be a header. lot tighter. Roosters taking on the Brisbane Broncos. Mm. So, Big shocks in that Roosters lineup. Mm, there was a few shocks yeah, in that team. Matt Butcher not starting. See what Wong. See what Wong getting the nod with Satili Tupanua. Yep. You got Sandon Smith fourteen. Yes. The full white. Yes. You got there. Suali'i who looks like he wouldn't be in that team barring Dom Young's injury. Now he's playing. On so the now wing. he's filling in on the wing. Yep. Um, Egan, who else missed out? Egan, Egan Angus, Bryden. and Angus Crichton, yeah. And Watson. Is that and Sorry, Watson. just to jump back, is that telling for Suali'i that he's not that man in the back five anymore? 
think it depends on I how he plays this week. To and be I honest. think it doesn't help that he's leaving next year. Mm. Like he's not like Manu, who is like a set and forget. Well, Manu's their leaving. best number one in that in yeah. that yeah. back. Yeah, like, yeah. Best, sorry, best he's, best he's their center. best player in that back, back four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could even say back five if you want back to really five. get into that argument. I don't, Ooh, I don't, I don't want that don't, smoke. We don't want that smoke for, I don't the want that smoke for phone. round one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that smoke. Um, um, but yeah, so obviously Sandon Smith, number 14, mm. he's going to come on. He can play pretty much anywhere. What in do you guys up. reckon? Sandon versus Connor Watson. Who would you go with? I think for now you'd probably give Connor a, a few games in cup. He, he obviously hasn't played in like yeah. two years. NRL. He scored in his trial. Looks pretty looks good in the trials. But I think, yeah, like ease him into it. Eventually, I think you'll see him at 14, but I like going to Sand. I think you know, he did a job for him last year. And he's yeah, pretty he's solid. a great player. Can fill in the halves. Yeah. Hooker, yeah. So good coverage there if anyone goes down. I'm with Jimmy. I think Connor Watson's a, a better player than Sand and Smith, but mm. just coming off that injury, you just need to get the confidence up. He hasn't played in almost a year, if yeah. you think about it. So Sand, someone like Sand and Smith, been the system, mm. played a few games at the back end. Yeah. I think he'll do a Sandin job. Sand has the a bench. chance to make that his own as well. If he's mm. performing well. He'll yeah. be keeping Connor out for as long as he keeps performing. Exactly. What about the stats? What do the stats have to say for this matchup? Oh, there's a few stats. So Rooster won five last seven against Broncos. Okay. So healthy. they're pretty good against Broncos. But then if you go into round one stats, we got here Broncos have won the opening match mm-hmm. three out of the last four years. Okay. On the other hand, Roosters have lost three of their last four opening matches. Mm. But they are known for that. Because Roosters don't like start. starting well. They they're start slow slow. Starters. Yeah. yeah. They start to pick up mid-year before Origin. So mm. the stats are there. It makes sense. But the team lists are like hard to split. It'll be a, uh, Yeah, again, it was another coin toss. Yeah, this is more of a coin toss. Um, so what is your winner sponsored by TBC Live? My winner sponsored by TBC Live, of course, is the Broncos. Ooh, In a close like one. It. In a close one. Yep. I'm, I'm with you, Jim. I'm going Broncos. Just. Just because that Maybe round one. Yeah. You know, Broncos are going to start the year better. Mm. But Roosters definitely have a shot. Yeah, Mick. I was really tossing and turning with this one. Mm. I didn't really want to pick Roosters, so I didn't. I just think the game will be a, a lot closer than people think. I just think Broncos coming off that grand final loss will have a lot to prove, and you can't discredit a team that has Walsh, Haas, Carrigan, Renault, Renault. Ma'am, The list goes yeah. on. Yeah. My only question is, is how quickly they can fill in the gaps of Herbie Farmworth, Flegler, and mm. Kate Will. Yeah. Just looking off the top of like their team list, I saw – to not discredit these players, but I saw someone like Jensen starting in the front row who at yeah. times struggled to even get a run yeah. in the And then you've got their yeah. bench of Smoothie, Baker, Hetherington, Willison. It's not There's the biggest There's a few good bench. players, but it's not the strongest bench. Yeah. Even, even the back line, Jesse Arthurs, Mariner, yeah. Mariner on the, the wings. wings. Mm. Mariner's meant to be really good. Jesse Arthurs, yeah. we've seen how good he can you be. you got Pia Kura, like a young, mm. young guy in the second row. Great yeah. player. So... Just for the fact that I dislike the Roosters and I know how slow they start their seasons and they're missing JWH, who's are there in Forza, and yeah. Dom Young, I'm going with the Broncos. Yeah. Okay, so we've all agreed on South yeah. and Broncos this We're week. We're all aligned. We, so could go, means... we could go 0-2 or 2-2, out of two, all, no in between. All aligned. So right, balls on the line. we're bringing back the same segments as last year. Yes. Try score a trifecta. Love Obviously, I've been no, itching for these ones. no punishments for anyone that doesn't pick it this yeah. week. It's first round. We'll work into it as the season only, goes on. It's only two games as well. No, nah, I reckon punishment. Nah. Well, we'll have a vote. No. Yes. Yeah, no, not yet. Ah, said sorry, yeah, first. Yeah, no. did, did Where's, say yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, balls nah. on the line. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, Sage, you want to explain how try score a trifecta works? Yes, and it's basically very principles. simple mix. So there's three of us. We pick a try score each. Yeah. That equals three. Trifecta. Try means three. Try means a try. So it's simple. Try score a Say trifecta. Say no more. Who is your <laughs> makes pick? Makes sense. Who's does that make sense or does that make it more complicated? No, it, makes, no, it sense. made honestly more sense than it could ever make sense. That's it. Try equals three and we're going to pick three players that score a try. Beautiful. Thank and you, the first Rach. one that's going to score, which it will be because of the first game, Cody Walker. He scored six tries in four games against Manly. Mm. So there you go. What else do you want? Good value as well for a 5'8". Like it. He's coming back from an injury. He was touch and go. So hopefully he does take the field. Dummy and straight through? Maybe a support play. Okay. Yeah. Right. Short board of Keon and back on the inside to Cody. Well, he right. doesn't have that space for AJ anymore. He might just dummy it. Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's not too much room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jimmy? The short ball. Jackson Paulo. Wow. I think you should play left wing for Manly. Who's right? Saab. Yeah, Saab yeah. is right. So, yeah, pull up. Turbo, cut out. See you later. That's it. Turn it off. Done. AJ yeah. rushes in, you reckon? Oh, no, the opposite. It'll be... Um, AJ? Gago. Wait, man. Yeah, Gago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It'll be... The rookie, yes. the debutant rushes yes. in. Turbo sees him rush, cut out. Barlow's over. Yes. 
Mm, I'm going Reese Lightning, Reese Walsh. Mm. I don't know. It's just a vibe pick. I just want to see him do well. He obviously killed it in the trials when he when he played. So yeah. I'm going Reese Walsh as my try scorer trifecta yeah. pick. Absolute freak Walsh. You don't even need to say anything. You just no, say Reese Walsh. Reese Walsh. He'll, He'll score. score. And now on the other end of it, we, yeah. a, a segment that was in popular demand throughout last year. They People love it. genuinely loved it. Considering how little and effective it actually was. Mm. Yeah. So There was a few streaks where you yeah. hit a few in a row, Mick, but mm. generally it's hard yeah. to hit it. Yeah. So this is fill up the fridge. Essentially, you're filling up your fridge with a fridge. And what we deem as a fridge is a prop. Front roller. So why, why fill the fridge? What does that mean? Can you explain that, Mick? So fill the fridge means if you win on this fridge, yep. you'll be cheering you'll be enough. You'll be able to stock your fridge. You'll be able to stock anything your I want. Anything, anything you want. And wow. celebrate. I don't know about now inflation and stuff, but, yeah. Yeah. but most things most I can Most things get. you can most get. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. How do I fill up my fridge? Who are you going you got to pick a front row. Who are you going to go Can I go a lock? A front row, Big mate. middle on the no. body. Front rower. Front row. What about like a second row but still stocky? No. Front rower. Front row, front row only. Yeah. Okay, go. Who we got? Junior Totola. So wow. I think he's in for a big year. Had a horrible run with injuries in 2023. And I think South He was a try scoring machine at he one was. point. At one point he was. And I think South underestimated how much mm-hmm. they actually missed him last year when we missed that go forward through the middle. I'm going Junior Totola. He's uh, looking the fittest he's been in years. So like it. I'm going to stick with you, Mick. Same game, same team. Davey Mowali. Yeah, nice. I've been raving about this young fella. He is a mate of mine as well, so I do <laughs> yeah. have to support him. But, yeah, mate, I've tackled him. I've seen him in the trials. Looks good. Mate, if I try to Looks tackle fit. him now, he would kill me. Big the way boy. he barged over that line, oh. that crash play. Yeah. He's looking bigger this year. He's young. He's fresh. He'd be good value Similar as well. Similar play, so crash play? It has to be a crash play. All There's right. no two ways about it. Davey's not scoring any other way. You know who's going to do a crash play Who? in my fridge? Xavier Willison. Oh, he did one in the Ooh. All-Stars match. Near the line. He'll fall over. This is how like most like, of the fridges have to do a crash play, don't they? <laughs> Unless you're like, yeah. Unless you're like Fanua Blake. Fanua Blake. Up, Leota. Leota. Backing up in the grand final. Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take, we'll take it. it. But yeah, Willison for me. He was my fridge, wasn't he, in the GF? I think we all went in. Like we, we, all we did Leota. a combined fridge. Oh, we all yeah. Leota. Leota. Yeah, yeah what a, that was good. That was a very good. We hung our head so, on yeah. Leota and it Mick's worked. Mick's got the Tola. I'm Mawali. Jim is Willison. I yes. like it. All right, we want to do any listener questions? Or yeah, we, we got it? some. Yep, some listener questions for this week. First one at Cameron might butcher this one. Apostolovsky. Wow, that was, I, think, I think you got that was it. Very good. Apostolovsky. Yeah. Maybe. Go. Apost- Great last name. Apostolovsky. Uh, no, Apost- you, you, you butchered that, Mick. Apostol. Jim had it the first. I time. think I got it. Anyway, Apostolovsky. Do you still think the Dragons will get the spoon after pumping the Tigers? I never thought they will in the first place, and this cemented my opinion that Tigers will get it. Yeah, that was Dragons good. look decent. Yeah, look decent. Yeah, but then good. did, but what, did Tigers miss anyone? That's the thing. I don't like, know. Like it was just they a had weird. Like Caesar Sullivan, Papali. They had like a lot of their team playing. Happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah Alfred, bad bad signs if you're a Tigers fan. I know it's a trial, but come on. If I'm Tigers, side note, play Lockie Galvin. Has Arthur. to play him. He looks unreal. And I know Caesar's the more experienced head and probably what the team. I think you'll get a minute. shot. That's I point. thought he was a center. Was he playing halves in the trial? Was he? No, he's a half. He's a halfback. Oh, he's a half. Yeah, yeah. Galvin. Okay. Yeah. He thought yeah. he was a center. I thought he was a center. Jay Jim. No idea. Are you guys one hundred percent? I'm amateur watch today. Mate, I need to look this up. Look it up, mate. mate. You can continue. look it up after the pod. Um, I, I think I think Dragons <sighs> will still get the spoon. Yeah, even after that performance. Yeah, I think they'll come crashing back to us at some point. The next question. Ag. Oh, let good? me just go. I'm on the Tigers website here. All right, it's anyway. taking too long. Let's brush him. Next Five question. Eight. Yep, you're right. I was thinking of the other bloke. <laughs> Which bloke? The other Tiger Young gun. Oh, I can't remember. Now, now he just looks worse. <laughs> oh, mate. Right, Double next down, one. idiot. <laughs> uh, Doctor Dot O two. It could be Drew O two. Anyway, top eight predictions. Oh, I haven't Jesus. done one of these, have we? Oh, there's so many combinations that you could probably do. Yeah. All right. How about we just agree on like maybe some top eight locks in our opinion? All right. Well, the top four locks. So who is that in your opinion? I think it's Panthers, Brisbane, South, Chooks, Melbourne. That's five. You've got five Warriors blocks. in there. I think with Sheck, uh, they'll make Cape the eight. Well, they'll make the eight. Cows. Oh, oh, I don't say lock. They're one. They're not. No, a sorry. Lock. No, no. That, we're nah. just looking at top four locks now. This is yeah. eight. And now the log jam locks. Yeah. Yeah. Log jam locks. Para. Cowboys. Raiders. Sharks. Did we say oh, Sharks? Sharks? Ra- Ra- Raiders? Sharks? Are, Raiders Sharks, aren't, yeah. Sharks Raiders aren't a, anywhere Sharks near Sharks have an easy eight. run. Raiders are near the bottom four, Jim. Yeah. Manly. Manly, yeah. If Turbo's fit. Yeah. Dolphins. Knights. 
Knights, Knights yeah, fucking Knights, hell. Knights, very Knights good. Too they, hard. Didn't, Dolphins. they didn't play good in Fiji, but the more, they'll be yeah, better. Yeah, disappointing, eh? Yeah. Maybe playing anyway, the hot weather, Gil- humidity. Without Dolphins, without Gilbert, I think we'd be a big ass to make top Tough. And Doggies. Doggies are Looked still Look, that was a bold prediction, but I can't make <laughs> it. <laughs> anyway, uh, too hard. Too hard. All right, next one, at Paracave Podcast. Do you think the four teams playing this week will have any hangover leading into round two? Well, if you've seen the movie The Hangover in Vegas, I'd say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, they're going to be partying. They're jet lag. Playing the tables, jet lag, But drinking. they get the week off though, right? All combined. There will be a hangover, but by round two, they'll be sweet. They've only yeah. got pretty essentially that one night to celebrate and it's after the game and they're pretty much on one of the first flights back home. So yeah, I don't which think – probably smart. I don't think it'll be that much hangover. I think jet lag, if anything, but – they got yeah. a week to get over yeah. it and that'll be sweet. Yeah. If you watch yeah. like the Rabbitohs documentary, they go on their website. They yeah. show how they're avoiding the – Jet lag, they're doing all these sleeping tablets, getting up stretching in different times. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're doing to avoid it. Yeah. Sorry, boy, I'm going to take this last one off your hands, Jim. Has. I was going e, to pass it on to you. Oh, mate, I saw this and I'm, I got triggered. Hadz. E, is there a super coach league this year? Mate, Hadzi. Hadzi's been living under a rock. He has. It's in our bio, the link. Tell, the can you code. Tell the code, please. Hadzi, do you want to know the code? Okay, I'll give you the code 487074. Yeah. One more time for Hadzi 487074. So Prizes for. Prizes for top three. Yep. Yep. It's a simple download the app, Supergoach yep. app, or go on the website, create an account, click join league, enter that code. Yep. That's it. You're in the league. How many players so it's, far? So it's total points. I think there's about 300 entries we've had. Crazy. Yeah, huge amounts. Yeah. Much more than last year. It was only like 100. Getting mm. closer to 400. But it's free to join. There's prizes on offer. So yeah, there's a Sign no brainer, Hadzi. Yep. Hey, All right. boys. And to finish off the episode, we've got cast calls. So last week, my favorite, we did our bowl predictions on the episode. So we want to know listeners' bowl predictions. Yep. Um, so hey, we have a few people submitting some bowl predictions for us. Yeah, we had four bowl predictions come in, but just just quietly because I've also noticed in the tipping comp there hasn't been many entries. So we'll put that link in the bio for our link tree and also this episode. Yep. So join our tipping comp. Top three get prizes. Perfect. There's only been thirty people joined, so your chances are high. <laughs> Okay, cast calls. Let's go. This one is from Craig. That's it. Just says Craig. Go on, Craig. See go on, Craig. Is. Oh, a bold prediction. These boys want a bold prediction. This is good well, stuff. Well, it's not bold to say the Titans are going to win the comp under Desi Haslam. Tino is going to be lifting the trophy in the year. So we obviously can't go with that one. Ooh, what one do Wonder we go with? Uh, bold. Very, very bold. You know what I'm going to go with? <sighs> Broncos to get the spoon. Wow. I'm going to say Broncos to get the spoon. Bronx to get the spoon. That's From bold. GF that's, to get the spoon. That's, that's an bold. unbiased opinion. No, it is. It's very based. It's, it's very so, bold. Very unbiased. Very no. bold. That is very bold. BKR. Well Thank done, you. Craig. Uh, another dribbler. We got the Chook Pen dribbler, he calls himself. Lock, who this is. Yeah, good day, boys. This is the Chook Pen dribbler. Well. Uh, oh, my bold prediction for this year is that good old Roosters to make the top eight. will be an origin smoky. I reckon he'll find his way in the 17 Matt for the Butcher. Blues at some stage this year. I think he's going to own the 12 jersey for the Roosters this year. Uh-oh. Keep <laughs> Angus Crichton and Satila Tupanua out of the side. Oh. And I think Uh-oh. he will... Yeah, be an origin smoky off the bench. I think he can play and I think he'll do well. Haynes has jumped Cheers the gun here. His, he he's hasn't seen it. the team list because Nat Butch has been left out of the starting side, but he On can work his way back in. Mm. Yeah. So Tilly and Siwa Wong there. Origin so. smoky. I like it. Okay. Huge. Yeah, it's bold. Hey, That's bold. It's bold. That's, That's why we, we call it bold, bold predictions. What was pissing me off on our post, people were saying, like, these predictions aren't going to happen. That's why they're bold. Yes. We're not. That's why they're not just called best bets or best predictions. Yeah. So I respect Hainsey and BKR for some bold predictions so far. Okay, we got Paddy G. I'm pretty sure he's a Manly fan. All right, boys. Paddy G here. Now, for some reason, everyone says this bold, but I think it's just a foregone conclusion. Luke Brooks will play 5-8 for the New South Wales Blues. Wow. This very season. Obviously, Manly <laughs> definitely goes to Manly. 2024. We all know that. And with his relationship with Turbo... I think he might get the number six jersey. He's also got that relationship with Madge and maybe just maybe him playing with DCE to give them some tips against the Queensland captain. That's bold. But Mate, there is some I logic there. I love that shit. You're a huge Brooks See, fan. See, now that's I, a bold I'm prediction. A big, I'm a big Brooks guy. You're a big Chad guy and big Brooks guy. <laughs> I hope I hope Brooks does really well at Manly though. No, I'm praying for him. Uh, last one from the world's youngest patroller. 
had the had me call in a few times. So, so hey, Gus Patrol, I'm here for my 2024 bold prediction. Go on. And my 2024 bold prediction, well, my main one is that Ryan Pappenhausen will win the 2024 Dally M. Whoa. He will have Huge. a oh. massive comeback from his injury. Good. And he will become not only the 2024 Dally M winner, but he will lead the Melbourne Storm to the grand oh, final. He's doubling and, wow. and he will just come second for the Clive Churchill. Oh, <laughs> got rankings and he will as also well. win fullback of the year. Well, you think you he did. wins fullback if he's Dally M, but yeah. that's very bold. Love it. Second in the in the Clyde. Second in the Clyde. So who's getting number one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it'd, have to, it'd have to be Munster or Grant. Or Grant? Yeah. Hughes. Or Hughes. Yeah. Ellie Katoa scoring a Hattie. Who knows? Oh, Sean Bloor. Sean Bloor off the yeah. bench, maybe wow. starting by then. <laughs> See, now there's some good bold predictions. That's a good bold I back so, all those people that submit in their bold predictions. That is very good. What do we got for next week, Age? All right. So next week we're going, what is an NRL moment that you constantly think about? So mm. something you can't get out of your head. For me, it'd be the GI Goanna. Just replays in my head that Goanna to cement yeah. the GF. What would you say, Jim? Do you have anything that just stands out to you? JT field goal. Yeah, 100%. It has to be. Did you watch that live? No, not live. Oh, you weren't I was there. away. I was away. Oh, fuck, that was a cracker game. Yeah. Mick? That one of Josh Reynolds at Seabus when he's running out on the sideline for halftime and he throws the ball forward <laughs> and, and cops a penalty. Yeah, yeah was a was, shocker. I don't know what he was thinking there, but yeah. so it could be a good thing you think about or something you're something like, funny, something cast. You're just like, what was he thinking? Yeah, hmm. but yeah, that's what I've got for next week. Yeah, so but, plenty of plenty of footy on this weekend. I've been dry of some actual rugby league, so this is perfect. Doing you doing anything on Sunday other than mate? That? I'll be on the couch from. Whatever time the coverage starts till 1 p.m. to 6 midnight. Or I don't know. Well, midnight. I'll tell you what's cast. My cousin, Joey, happy birthday on Sunday. He's oh, turning no. 18. Oh, no. He's decided to have his 18th birthday no. at 12 p.m. How selfish. When the footy starts, South Manly, 1.30 p.m. That's selfish from him. That's that, very selfish. That is he a South fan? Me. He's a South fan as well. So. Uh, he's not a South fan. Though. Hopefully there's like wood fire pizza and I'll let it slide because, you know, I love my pizza. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but I'll so, be watching. And side note, this Saturday we are doing a Dabble live stream on the app. Yes. Remember to sign up to Dabble using the link in our episode description. It's in our bio. We'll be live streaming from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. So come along, talk some racing. and Group on racing. Talk some footy for sure as well mm. yeah. with the footy the next day. 100%. But, yeah, that's where all our tips are. If you liked any of the tips and there's plenty of giveaways more. as well in the live streams too. We've given away hats. We gave away some T-shirts. Yeah, it's dabble merch. There's it's a lot of stuff. Merch, so mm, it's very good. Yeah, sign up for free and watch our live streams. Yes. Mm. But, yeah, I'm ready for footy. So that's all from me. Goodbye. It's goodbye from me. Go and well. Goodbye from me. Have a great week, guys.